To use the additional Shopify integration features, make sure you go to the top right drop down menu, click integrations, find Shopify, and click use. And then make sure that this e commerce integration is turned on. This will allow you to have e-commerce tracking for your Shopify store. You'll have auto, you can add products automatically using the product block in the campaigns and create automations based on the behavior of your clients. So let's see how this works. Let's first go to campaigns. You can create a new campaign here or find a campaign you already created and just click content. And here we go. You have all the blocks on the left side, but sometimes it's easier to use this search box here. Just type in product and we see the different product blocks. Now, these are the regular product blocks you see here with the prices. They can link to a page on your store, for example. You can add an image, etc., etc. This is the regular way of doing it. But once you have the integration with your Shopify store connected, what you can do is use these special Shopify blocks. Now, you can also access these blocks from the drop down menu. And instead of choosing e commerce, go ahead and use e commerce integration. And let's see these different blocks here. This is a block that shows one product and it sucks the products from your store into MailerLite and you can choose them right over here. Let's go with one because that's how this specific block works. Go ahead and, and click save. Now look, let's look at this grid block. If we click this, very similar, but this time we can choose up to six different products, but only five at a time. So let's click insert. There we go. It's five. And then we can go ahead and choose one more. There we go. Six altogether. Click save once you're finished. And this is the list product list block. Same thing. Add products from your store. And this time you'll have a list. There we go. Once you're done, click save and done editing. Choose the subscribers this newsletter will be going to. Scroll down and click review and confirm. Here's the overview. Once you're done with that, click next and schedule. And now we have this additional use e-commerce link tracking. And when you send, when you click send, you can go ahead and go to campaigns once that campaign is sent. I'm not going to send it now, but I'm going to show you one of the campaigns I already have in the sent folder, which has been sent. And here you can view report. And now you'll see this additional e-commerce tab. You'll see the orders, the total revenue from this newsletter, the conversions and the list of orders, the people who ordered. Additionally to this, if you go to dashboard, and scroll a little down, you'll have this new part over here, which is the e-commerce performance. It shows the last three months or the last six months. Now that email I sent with that order was older than three months. That's why we don't see no numbers here. But once you start getting orders in, you will see them here. And last, if we go to automations and click create workflow, and now you will see this additional e-commerce automation tab right over here. And let's go ahead and click that. And once you click select here, you will have the stores that you can choose. These are your stores that you integrated with MailerLite. Let's choose this first store and you'll have four additional triggers. The first one is when someone abandons the shopping cart. The second one is when someone purchases any product from that newsletter. The third one is when they choose a specific product. You can choose that product from your list right over here. And again, you can change the stores over here. Okay, let's cancel this for now. And the last one is when someone purchases from a category and then just choose a category from here and click save. And there you go. This is just like a regular workflow. Now you can add delays and emails and conditions and actions based on this workflow. And that's about it. Those were the three additional Shopify integration features you can use. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as usual, I'll see you in the next tutorial. 
Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.